who knew from Saudi Arabia. Imam Shreen takes one last walk of Kaaba after serving 32 years as Imam of Masjid al-Haram. Imam Shreen, who served as Imam of Makkah Grand Mosque for 32 years, resigned, took one last walk of Masjid al-Haram. Following his retirement as Imam of Masjid al-Haram, earlier this year, the Imam stepped down from leading Tarawih prayers at Masjid al-Haram too. Sheikh Saud al Shuraim is renowned for his smooth recitation style and for having one of the most distinctive and unique voices. In 1991, Sheikh Shuraim was made Imam al Khatib of Masjid al Haram by the order of the late King Fahd. Sheikh led his first Taraweeh in the year 1992. This shows you how much dedication, time, and effort people put into serving the mosque, serving the community, serving. Um, serving people in general as well as leading the prayers and um, that too in one of the, in one of the three holiest mosques in Islam and if I'm not mistaken the biggest mosque in Islam too um, so much responsibility pressure you have little time away from um, from the job and to be doing it for 32 years it shows you what type of person he is and this is a message for uh, the government in Saudi that your scholars give you so much service and time for your holy mosques in your country. And without them, it wouldn't be what it is today. And you decide to censor them and punish them and jail them for speaking about the right things, for warning you, for doing things that you shouldn't be. And this is what you do to them. If you continue to do things like this to them, you won't have many people willing to lead in even in the two of the three holiest mosques soon, even with the prestige and um the reputation and the 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 status of the two of the three holiest mosques in Saudi that you could have no scholars willing to lead because of the way you treat your scholars. The government should take um, take a lesson from this that scholars will only be in the mosque if you let them be scholars and speak the truth and not dilute it and be silenced because the government wants to go against the Sharia.